we're doing rate times time equals distance type of problem for this one. Number 18, it says an elevator went from the bottom to the top of a tower at an average speed of 4 meters per second, remained at the top for 90 seconds, then returned to the bottom at 5 minutes per second. If the total elapsed time is 4 and a half minutes, let's change this to is... then how high is the tower? Well, the total elapsed time was four and a half minutes. Let's convert that to seconds because um, our units are in seconds. So four and a half seconds, four and a half minutes times 60 seconds per minute. The minutes cancel. We get a total of 270 seconds. And if it stayed at the top for 90 seconds, we need to deduct that because we are only interested in the seconds that it was actually moving. So 270 seconds minus 90 seconds that's 180 seconds that it was moving, but not necessarily exactly half and half, half of it going up and half of it going down. As you can see, it took less, um, the speed was faster coming down, so that means that it took less time coming down. Um, so let's do our chart. We're going to do going to the top and then going to the bottom and we're going to do rate times time equals distance. Now the rate is in meters per second, the time is in seconds, so when we multiply meters by second times seconds we just get meters. The seconds cancel out and we just get meters. So the total time elapsed was 180 seconds. That's for our, that's this one, that's total travel time. So if going to the top, to the bottom, say, took T seconds, then going to the top would be 180 minus T. For example, if it took, say, 50 seconds to go to the bottom, then that means it took 130 seconds to go to the top. Okay. And the speed for going to the bottom was 5 meters per second, and going to the top was 4 meters per second. And we know the distance is the same for both of these, meaning this is 4 times 180 minus t, and this is 5 times t, but the top and the bottom is the same distance, so we're going to set those equal to each other. That's what our equation is going to be. We always need an equation to solve these word problems. We need a relationship between our variables. Now we're going to distribute this 4. That's going to be... 200 and that's going to be 720 minus 4t equals 5t. Now we add 4t to both sides. So t is 80. That means it took 80 seconds to go to the bottom. So now we do 5 times 80. If you look at the original chart, you'll see why we're doing this. So it's 400 meters. That's the distance to go to the bottom, for example. Or you could do 4 times 180 minus 80. So it took 80 seconds to go to the bottom 
and it took 100 seconds to go to the top. So if you do 100 times 4, that should also give us 400 meters. Either way, we should get 400 meters. That's the, how high the tower is. Okay, that's how we do that problem.